Welcome to Specific Love. Today I'm going to show you 14 simple hacks using socks. If you plan on doing some painting in the near future, you want to make sure you protect your shoes. And that's very simple by adding a large sock right over the top, and that'll help keep it from getting splattered on. If you're ever out camping and you get threatened by an animal or a person and you just can't get to your weapon, maybe a gun or a knife, and you're just kind of stuck. If you can get to a can or a large rock and your sock, take it, put it inside your sock, and you can swing that thing around and I guarantee you that'll hurt. And at the very least, hopefully it'll get them running so that you can escape the other way. If you live in an area of the country where it snows, then socks are great to put over your windshield wiper. Because if you've ever been caught in the snow before, you know if you have these down and you go to turn them on, they're usually stuck right to the windshield. But if you have the socks on them, and you can leave them in the up position. When it snows, you don't have to worry about it being stuck. If you want your clothes to smell really good, you can take some potpourri, stick it in a sock, shove it in the corner, and every time you open your drawer, it's going to just smell wonderful. If you do a lot of exercising, you can make these really cheap sweatbands from just an old sock. I just cut off the top here, and it fits great on my wrist. If you like to keep an umbrella in your car, well, anytime you use it, it's all nice and wet, and if you go to put it in your car, it's gonna get all over everything. Unless you take an old sock, you wrap over it, and it'll do two things. One, It'll keep the umbrella from getting everything wet. And two, it keeps the umbrella from opening up and then you step on it. If you drink a lot of beverages out of cans, you can take an old sock, double it over a few times, and make you a customized koozie. Keep your hand warm and your drinks cold. A great little fun toy you can do with a sock is if you take one of your socks, cut it just a little over halfway, and you want to stuff it with some paper. This happens to be just from an ad that came in. And then you tape it shut. And now you have an indoor snowball. Let's see if we can get my son with this. Ah! Here's a great way to take a sock and turn it into a fingerless glove. You first want to cut out the heel here, just a small hole, and that's actually where your thumb's gonna go. You slide it over your arm, and then you measure about where your knuckles are, and cut just a little bit longer, and there you go. You got your nice little cheap fingerless glove. If you like using these kind of floor cleaners, but you just happen to use your last cover, I have a great idea. A large sock makes an awesome temporary fix. If you have some wonderful pets, I have a great way you can use some socks to make some toys. You take an old sock <laughs> and you get a water bottle. You can take it and you can slide it inside. Tie a nice little knot on it or somehow attach it. And there's a cool little play toy. If you have cats, you can do the same basic things with some, some kids socks, put some bells or rattles or something in there, and it's a great way to make some toys for your dog or cat. If you ever try to get something out of the oven, oh, it's hot, you can always grab your sock and pull it out real easily. Playing with a hacky sack is a great way to have fun, get exercise, and stay limber. To make these, you will need a pair of old socks, some uncooked rice, scissors, and a needle and thread. First, cut about three to four inches of the toe section off of each sock. With both sections laying side by side, pick out the smaller one first. Slowly fill the first sock with rice until it is just over three quarters full. Using a needle and thread, sew the open end of the sock together. The first sock does not have to look nice, but it does need to lay flat. Now place the first sock into the second one with the sewn side toward the inside. Now stitch the second sock close but use a little more care this time to make sure it looks good. Now you can have fun and enjoy some time with your family and friends. Alright, here's a great way to turn a sock into a phone holder. 
You first want to cut the top off of the sock off here. This is where all the elastic is. And you turn it inside out on your arm. Then you take your phone and you hold it right in place there and you just start wrapping the sock up over it. And this is great if you're out running and jogging and that way it will should stay in place there. See how it's, it's, it's pretty sturdy. Great way to make a phone holder.